Welcome back, smokers. Today we're doing another cigar review on the Rocky Patel The Edge. It's a... Lighting's kind of low, but looks very nice. You don't see much veining, no blemishes, very well constructed. I did a straight cut right there on the top. So you can notice the band is actually on the foot, so I'll have to remove that before I light it up. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I've never tried one of these, so... Curious to see what it is. I do love me a Maduro. Cold draws a little peppery, a little chocolatey. Um, earth. Kind of the normal stuff that you get from a cigar. A little woodsy. Not necessarily cedar though. Just kind of like sweet wood. Hmm. A sweet wood. Sweet wood. Sweet wood. Could be a teak wood. That's all she said. <laughs> or a kumaru. Never, I've never no, sucked kumaru is bitter. Sweet wood. <laughs> Very <so>. bitter. <laughs> the <bulldog. laughs> Yeah. It's giving walnut vibes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Anyways, we will uh, get into the light here for a second, and uh, I'll let you know how the first puff goes. Cheers. In the back there. Thanks, my That's how I always warm <laughs> mine up. <laughs> A little spell. It smells good, too. All right, we got this thing burning. Let's hop in for the first puff, see what we get. Peppery, but not spicy. Peppery, smoky flavor. Didn't get much of the chocolate that I got off of the uh, cold draw. Um, that woods tone is kind of there. Now it tastes more like cedar. There's a savory note in there. It's like a charred meat of some kind. It's like a, it's going it's playing with the smoky flavor, like that kind of char. It's like peppery, salty char with smoke and wood. Starting off really good. I have to say, smelling the smoke, that first puff would smell like fireworks. The second one instantly sweetened up. And and it, it kind of smelled like a barbecue type. Hmm. I caught it, it. Like a barbecue sauce? Yeah. Some type of molasses, some barbecue sauce. Really interesting. The retro hail has something sweet like molasses, like brown sugar. And really? Molasses. There we go. I could just smell it from that first puff that you took. Smelled fireworky. And then that second one, it instantly started sweetening up. It smells beautiful. So that's a 4th of July cigar? Oh, 100%. Yeah, it's oh. like a savory flavor mixed with like a simple syrup of some kind. Or yeah. like it could be molasses or brown sugar, probably something darker and bolder, um, but still carries that sweetness. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this progresses. Once we get into the first third, I'll uh, check in with you guys and let you know if anything's changed or if anything's kind of pronounced itself a little bit. So, see you soon. Alrighty, we've made it through the first third here. It was burning quite unevenly, um, but I didn't do anything to correct it. It's kind of correcting itself here. Um, what I can say is this cigar has been very, very smooth, and very, very well balanced, and the way that it has kind of evolved into this second third, I'm really enjoying. getting a little spicier from the pepper notes. Still that smoky wood flavor, um, but now it's definitely more spice influenced with the pepper. And there's still that semi-sweet, I'll call it molasses. Um, thank you to Conrad for helping me come up with yeah. that term because I couldn't think of exactly what it was. I think that is probably the most fitting. 
It's kind of like a dark, more bolder, sweet sugar flavor. Um, yeah, I mean, it has so far been really, really good. It's very well balanced and super smooth. The texture of the smoke is almost like meaty and chewy. It's dense. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I love Maduro's with bold flavor and um, it's kind of got a little give right there, a little spongy, and then it gets a little harder towards the end here. Um, so I don't know if some of those little spongy spots might have led to the way that it's burning, but it's definitely not hindering my experience. It's not running off. Uh, I'm not sitting here fighting with it, relighting it. So um, yeah, it's been all good from, from the beginning to, to where I'm at now. So I'll keep smoking this thing down and we'll check in with you during the second third. Alrighty guys, I burned right through the second third, right at the top of the final third here. I must say in that last, or I must say in that second third, there's a lot of changes. Um, it's more of kind of like a, a hickory wood, but like nutty, like peanut flavor that I'm getting. Um, very interesting. Um, the body of this cigar is you know, a four and a half out of five, maybe four out of five. It's pretty full bodied. Uh, the strength has been relatively high. Um, reminds me of kind of like a, like an oxycodone in that it's got like a time release. So at the beginning of the cigar, you don't really feel it. As you're getting into this final third though, starts taking it up a notch with the, uh, with the nicotine there. Who's this? Thank you. My mouth is salivating. <laughs> and it wasn't from the cigar. <laughs> this is Coors freaking banquet, man. It's a good beer. Okay. So let's, uh, let's taste this real quick. Yeah, I get like like a peanut note with some like hickory wood. Uh, the pepper's kind of gone away. Still a little spicy, but I don't really taste that strong black pepper note. Um, very, very smooth. The way that the smoke hits the palate on the tongue. Very impressed with this cigar. Um, I'm not super surprised Rocky Patel has really good cigars, but um, yeah. The burn has kind of corrected itself over the course of the last third as well. Obviously not a razor sharp line there, but you know, within industry standard, as we like to say. A little bit of spice still in the retro, but other than that, like I said, that hickory smoke, a little bit of peanut, um, full body flavor, the strength starting to show up here a little bit, I'm starting to feel it. Um, it's been a really pleasant cigar, and then we'll check in with you here at the end with the final score and, and final thoughts. Thank you. All right, here we are finishing up the very end of this Rocky Patel, the Edge. Um, it has been a really good cigar. One of the only, I guess, negative things I could say about it, the ash has been a little flaky. Um, as I try and keep it on the cigar, uh, it, it inevitably would fall after about a half inch. I couldn't really even get to a full inch before it would fall. I was trying to be real gentle with it. it fell on my lap one time and um, after that happens I just start knocking it off because I don't, I don't want to keep dropping ash on me. Um, other than that, flavor has been incredible, especially towards the end here. It's ramped more towards this salty, peppery, savory, peanut, woodsy, just this medley of flavors that's really well balanced in the strength has kind of ramped up here at the end. Stayed pretty well with the, the body throughout the whole cigar. My final score on this bad boy is going to be a 92. So. It's a good score. Go out to a local lounge, pick up a stick, try one out, see if it's for you. Um, it's definitely characteristic of that Maduro profile you're used to. Uh, bold flavors, punchy, and uh, thoroughly enjoyable. So thank you guys for watching. Check out our main channel and the podcast. 
leave a like, a comment, let us know if there's anything else you want us to review, and uh, follow us on Instagram. Cheers.